Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can. I'm not a python chef. I can't uncork my jaw. Food and sports. Two of the things I love the most. From the football fields at Wake Forest, straight to your kitchen. The best, the tastiest of restaurants. The biggest, the brightest of guests. Charlotte, North Carolina is my home. This is West Guy Rain. The Bad Daddy's Burger Bar started right here in Charlotte and has now grown to North Carolina, South Carolina, and Colorado. And they have three locations right here in Charlotte that you can go and check out. We got a great show for you today. Carolina Panthers wide receiver Devin Funches is in the building with us. We're going to try the Bad Ass Burger in the kitchen. It sounds like it's going to be phenomenal. So uh, enough with the talking and let's... Uh, Eat it up. In here in the kitchen at Bad Daddy's Burger, and we're in here with Chef Dan Lemieux. Now, we know this is a food and sports show, and Chef Lemieux is actually related to hockey royalty. This the cousin of Mario. Yeah, Mario Lemieux. Shout out to the Pittsburgh Penguins, won the Stanley Cup. All right. Well, Chef, what are we making today? Today we're going to make our badass burger. That's one of the staples. This is a burgers. family show, Chef. <laughs> we'll call it the BA burger for right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. And uh, basically, it's one of our staples here at the restaurant. Right. Um, the biggest one that we have since Mile High, um, we make our own uh, BA bacon. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go through that process, show you guys how to make that as well. Um, it is a 10 ounce patty, it sits real high on the plates. Uh, the best burgers you can ever have. Oh, I can't wait. Absolutely. Chef, that thing is a giant, man. So the next step we're gonna do is our badass bacon, okay? Um, this is basically buttermilk right here, and then we have our own Bad Daddy seasoning that we use for our bacon. Uh, you know, flour, salt, pepper, herb spices. Like that. Batter the bacon. You got it. The bacon, as you can see, is is partially cooked, because of course we're gonna deep fry it, so you don't want to overcook it, because then it just gets all crumpy and swivel. Sure, sure. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double batter this. Oh, we're gonna get it nice and Butter milk up for you. We're gonna have to hashtag Absolutely. Food porn right there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the seasoning all over it, cover it from top to bottom. Fantastic. Nice and fluffy. See how fluffy that is right there? I've never had battered bacon before. This is another West Guy Range first. Never had battered bacon. Now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna do it again. So we're gonna repeat the process. Oh. And what this does is it really, really makes it really thick. It gives it a nice crunch. Um, it gives it a nice golden brown color, so you're not overcooking the actual batter and the actual uh, flour. Chef, you're talking dirty to me right you now. Know it, you know it. Don't tease me, Chef. And basically, that's what you got. Go straight in. So now is your finished product that's right here. That's the bacon? That's the bacon right there. You know, it's funny. A lot of times oh people God. look at it and go, is that fried chicken? Yeah, exactly. No, it's not. That's our fried bacon. And that's the purpose of double battering it. Just give it that nice, thick flavor. Wait, deep bite into this. Change I think that's going to be the challenge. I'm never... Go change the bacon. Okay. We have our own house-made American cheese. Okay. Get a little bit of water. There we go. And then what that does is it basically helps the process of melting the cheese without cooking the burger. You know, the burger's of course gonna go up slightly because of all the heat that's in there. Sure. But for the most part, it melts the cheese a lot faster for us to give us that nice coat over top of the burger. Melts your mouth. Fantastic. That's gonna be the Sam I am, cheddar cheese and the ham. And then this is gonna be a Frenchie, which is our version of the turkey burger. And that's actually gonna be uh, brie cheese on that. But it's okay, it's okay. Don't be scared to come out. We'll find you, don't be scared. But as you can see, the House American melts right on top. We drop it on, cut that in half. Right on top there. And there's there's your badass burger at its finest. Let's see what we got. Let's see if I can. I'm not a python chef. I can't uncork <laughs> my jaw. All right, here we go. Nice. Ooh. The flavor. The crunch from that bacon, phenomenal. Great salty taste. Another mix of the onions, the sauces. I think I need to have a minute. Here with the man of the hour, Panthers wide receiver, Devin Funches. Devin, what's going on, man? Chilling, chilling. All right, well, let's get right to it. Let's talk about, let's talk a little Michigan football to start things off. For those who are the uninitiated, let them know just what it's like to be involved in the Michigan-Ohio State game and what was your favorite moment from that game? I mean, it's 
that's the rivalry of all rivalries in college. You get straight to it with that game. It's the, the biggest, the biggest stage, the biggest atmosphere, loudest fans. It's, it's a real war out there. So the week leading up to the game, like what is that like? Everywhere you go in town, people are just like, it's, you got to get them. Everybody coming up to you, just telling you like, you got to get the W. You got to get the W. You go out there and practice, and the scout team they got silver helms. They take the helm of silver, put the asterisks on, all they stuff, and, and we just get to it. We see Cam on TV all the time. We see you guys like to have fun. Do you have a favorite Cam Newton story or a funny Cam Newton story? What you see on the field is what you get off the field. You just have, you'll have a ball every day in the weight room, in the meeting room, and, and then on the field. Now, you coming up into your third season. Before a lot of receivers coming in making an adjustment, this could be a make or break season for them. How do you feel like your game is mature? What are you going to do uh, better coming into this season? I mean, I slow the game. I slow the game down a lot. So I'm just out there, just waiting on my, my opportunities, and just go out there and make the best of it. We saw last year the Panthers' offense struggled a little bit, and you guys have added some new pieces, whether it be Christian McCaffrey or Curtis Samuel from Ohio State. What do you think about the new weapons that you guys have added, uh, and how would you fit in with those guys? Uh, Curtis, he's very explosive. And he just got to find his, his, his knack of the game. He got to slow it down. Just like all rookies, they just got to slow the game down. Christian hasn't been around, but I, I'm sure he's going to be an electric player. He was at Stanford. So you go out there, use those guys right, and then uh season should be, should be a good one. Now, we also got to talk about West Guy Range alum, Austin Duke. They say he's been tearing it up out there, the Charlotte wide receiver. What are your impressions of him so far? Young, he good. He good. He, he very explosive, too, just like Curtis. And it's just, again, rookies, they just got to slow the game down and just know, know the reads and the progressions of the offense. All right, well, listen, guys. We got all this delicious food right here. We're going to get right to it. We got the Frenchie Burger, which is a turkey burger. We got the Sam I Am Burger with the green eggs and ham on it. And then we also got the backyard chicken nachos. So listen, enough with the talking. We're gonna get to the carnage. We'll be back with y'all in just a little bit. The eggs on it. There we go. Nachos good. Yeah. Nachos like that. Yeah, the sweet apple, apples on apple that. Bacon or something like nah, that. it's uh, they actually cut apples up. Uh, I think it's a Granny Smith or something like that. You put it on there, but it gives a nice little sweet flavor to it. It's good. Where's Jr. when you need him? The carnage. You see it right here. And Devin, even though you're a wide receiver, man, you can put it down. That's what I do. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm, a fat, I'm a fat boy at heart. That's right. I was an offensive lineman, man. So they already know what I can do. They seen enough of how I can get down. But before we get out of here, man, got to get a prediction on the season. What can we expect from the Panthers? Uh, we getting in. We nitty gritty right now. So it, it's hard to tell. But I, 6 and 10 is not going to happen again. Not going to happen again. Playoffs, Super Bowl? Playoffs. Playoffs are uh, for sure. We're too, we too hungry for it. So we're going to be on the popper with that. And then as the season goes, we got to play one game at a time. I can't predict the whole season. We got to play one game at a time. All right, man. We'll, we'll see. Season's right around the corner. It's almost football time, folks. We're almost there. Come on down to Bad Daddy's. Check out all this delicious food that they have over here at this Ballantyne location. They got three locations in Charlotte. The food was phenomenal, and uh, we did our thing here. We're going to see you next time, and as always, uh, <laughs> eat it up. Never, ever.